Good afternoon. Thank you all for coming this afternoon, and I can't think of too many, if any, journalists who could fill a church hall. So it's a testament not only to the great writing and great reporting of Naya Aled, but I think also of her big heart and great humanity. Nala has devoted much of her career to covering one of the world's most vexing regions. In her book, A Thousand Farewells, Nala describes the many ways the Arab people have fought against oppression and loss from her own personal observations from working in the Middle East as a foreign correspondent. Please give a very warm Ottawa welcome to Nala Ayed. No one likes to say farewell, um, but unfortunately it has been a major feature of my life, um, even longer ago than I actually became a journalist. It actually started with a farewell that my father um, went through long before I was born, with my father's own rejection of the Middle East actually, and leaving his family behind uh, to move on to Europe and then eventually here to Canada, far away from the Middle East's troubles. I will never forget the day that I stood at the Syrian-Iraqi border in 2006, watching as family after family said goodbye to their country and the civil war that had now possessed it. Here's one last excerpt I will read to you describing that scene. The lineup of cars stretched far into the horizon, a caravan of citizens who had given up on their country. They were loaded with belongings of every description blankets, baby carriages, and swollen suitcases. Allahu Akbar, they muttered when they got out of their cars and saw the endless lineup at the immigration wickets. They came from all over Iraq, Sunni, Shia, and Christian, teachers, drivers, laborers, even a bacteriologist. Most told me their move was temporary. I could see in their eyes that they didn't believe their own words. 